So what's up everybody? Uh, I here with the tutorial today because you know I, I tried to play Project Brutality on my Android device, and I actually saw that there was no good video on YouTube. I mean, there were videos, but they weren't that good. So I just figured out why not making a tutorial on how to download Project Brutality for Android. This is a pretty fast process, it's pretty easy, but I still want to make a video on, so yeah. So yeah, because this mod is very cool, and it's still played in 2021, which is very good. I mean, it's very, it's amazing. So I'm just going to show it. The first thing you want to do is you want to get your kind of a source port, and you want to download Free Doom, as you can see here. You got Free Doom, you open the app, and in this case, it will bring you to this... Uh, to this thing, you go freedoom.wad and here you go for the gamepad, you got all the, the things. And if you're going to add ons, you can choose the mods. And as you can see, I already have my PB3ZV1.0.2. But you, want, you don't want to do this yet because once you download Freedoom, you want to go into your browser and you want to download the Brutal Doom. Uh, this is Project Brutality, and you want to go into download now, and you can start downloading your uh, your game, your mod, because it's a mod, it's not a game. Okay, so guys, now that you have your file downloaded, you kind of want to go into WinRAR, and you want to find your download. Just by going into the download folder, and you find your archive, which is here. Now, once you're here, you want to extract your file when you just do extract to project brutality or you can also choose this and do this and click OK. But I'm not going to do this yet because I've already done this. As you can see, I have my folder it should appear as a folder here. Now, there, you can see there is no file here because what I did is basically I open the folder, choose the PK3, which once was inside this folder. I, I choose cut. And I went into my Freedom folder and put it into the mods. As you can see, I copy pasted it into the Freedom folder. And now we have it into the mods. Now, if you want to play other maps other than Freedom 1 and Freedom 2 mods, you can always download the original Doom mods like Doom 1, Doom 2, Plutonia, TNT, Final, the Final Doom. You can download whatever you want. Now, since I've already bought it for both the Switch and the PC, I'm not going to buy it for my phone too. But if you really want to play those games, but you don't owe them, I recommend Free f um, Doom Forever, which is a French website, I believe. I'm not sure, but you can get your watch there for free. I'm not going to put that into the video description because, well, it's kind of illegal because these games are still sold and people still buy them. So the company, ED Software, actually still makes money in this. So I can't uh, really put the link in the description. But I'm just going to tell you, if you don't own the game already, you can download the WAD and place it into the root folder of um, of Free Doom. Now to show you that it works, I'm going to go here. As you can see, here's the page. I'll, li I'll link everything in the description. You go into here. We wait for it to load. Sometimes it crashes. I'm, I'm not sure why. You go into mods, PB, OK, and you choose your WAD. In this case, I'm going to go with the second one and launch. And as you can see, there we have it Project Brutality. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. And this is basically it. You don't need to do anything complicated. You just extract and uh, there you go. Now you can change your settings and um, do all, all the stuff you want. But as you can see, the game is working. And yep. So, guys, 
I think this is everything for tutorial. I hope it helps somehow. Uh, I know it's a pretty easy process, but I hope it helped someone. I'm not gonna ask you to give a to give a like or subscribe because I'm I given up on my YouTube account. But yeah, just if you want to support, just you can give a like, subscribe. If anyone will ever see this, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped, and uh, I guess we'll see each other in the next future.